30 KXO El Centro, California. Uh, good morning, Gene. Good morning, Carol. Ah, <sighs> just another beautiful day. One after another. Exactly. And the days are what you make of them, so make something special. Yeah. Yeah, yep. something special. I'm, yeah. I have to work on that for a while. Well, I'll the uh, Latin little. phrase carpe diem, seize the day, make mm -hmm. it your own. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Even if you have to social distance, even if you're in isolation, even if you're having to put up with the kids, <laughs> yeah, seize the day. Grab so it I'm, by the horns. Yes. Now, I'm wondering how the world's problems are being solved when uh, that group that uh, always meets for coffee in the morning isn't meeting. And, and they're all old, so they don't know how to use Zoom or FaceTime. So how are the world's problems getting solved? Well, where is that group that you're talking about? It's kind of floating. It's often at McNeese Mart. Oh, okay, that group. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And you're, you're saying that uh, they don't meet anymore? Well, social distancing. They're well, not they allowed can, to. They can, uh, you know, they just have to, uh, and that's probably why nobody knows, they changed locations so they could honor the social distancing. Okay. Or they're virtual. No, I said they're all old. They can't handle the virtual part. <laughs> their, their grandkids will help them out. Oh, well. Anyway, just, you know, just curious because, as you know, for, uh, well, it used to be all the uh, world's problems were solved in the local tavern over a pint of ale. Mm -hmm. And then it became all of the uh, world's problems solved over a cup of coffee. Yeah, that tasted like yes. uh, <laughs> a, a, a nail. Okay. Anyway, um, are you ready for birthdays? I'm ready for birthdays. Okay, when you were young, did you watch, were you ever young? Uh, when you were little, did you ever watch Lassie? I did. Tommy Reddick was uh, Timmy. Mm hmm And uh, June Lockhart. June Lockhart. She was, was the, the mom. mom. Yep. June Lockhart is 95 today. Wow. Okay. Still calling Lassie, I'm sure. Yes. Timmy! Oh, what? Lassie? Timmy fell in a well? Yeah. Oh, my. Uh, singer Eddie Floyd is 83. Actress Barbara Montgomery is 81. Actress Mary Beth Peel is 80. Carly Simon is 75. And uh, Ian McDonald, a foreigner, is 74. Actor, comedian J.J. Walker, uh, Jimmy Walker, is 73. And uh, David Page of uh, Toto, 66. Actor Michael Sabatino is 65. Ricky Gervais is um, 59. Actress Erica Gimple is 56. Actress Angela Kinsey, 49. And actress Linda Cardinelli of, uh, 40, is of ER. She also is one of the voices in Scooby-Doo, 45. Actress Busy Phillips is 41. Okay? Busy Phillips. Busy, B-U-S-Y. Okay. Yeah. Sounds like a stage name. Well, I think that's uh, probably a good thing if she's an actress and she's busy, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Or act busy if you can do, can't do do anything else. Act busy. You got it. Okay, local birthdays coming up. We are strong and we'll get through this together. But these are stressful times. Reach out to someone, connect with your friends, and know that you are not alone. Visit wearebroadcasters.com slash hope. Furnished by the National Association of Broadcasters and this station. We have KXO birthday wishes going out today to Agatha Garcia, Diana Dorante, Rosanna Alcantar, Lily Garcia, Philip Castro, Clarissa Valencia, Diana Navarez, Gloria Hager, Laura King, George Asuncion, Susanna M. Mezcua, and Lucy Villalobos. Happy birthday from KXO. Okay, and today is Handshake Day. I don't remember the last time I shook somebody's hand. It's been a long time. Yeah, the COVID pandemic has killed the handshake. Now, there are some alternatives, of course. The fist bump, right? Mm -hmm. The elbow rub. Right. The hip poke. Uh, the, I've only seen that a couple of times. Yeah, the knee touch. 
Seen the, that. The ankle tap, the toe tickle, and the butt buff. Hmm. Uh, you know, you got, you got some alternatives. Mm -hmm. Okay. Some and, are, uh, some are so unique, though, you don't see them. Yeah, you're right. Ah, and uh, just to give you a heads up, Saturday will be Global Smurf Day. Mm. Okay? Sounds pretty exciting. I'm telling you now, so you'll have enough time to smear blue makeup all over your body, yeah. okay? Yeah, blueberry or something, you can get that yeah. blueberry dye color. Yeah, you smear blueberry all over you and you're liable to attract a bear, right? You might, yeah. Yes. All the way down off the mountain. Yeah. Yes. <sighs> we used yeah, to have black bears in the, the mountain uh, between here and San Diego, but it's been a long time. Although I understand they do have them uh, south of the border. Yeah. Up in the mountains. Yeah. And one of the things, um, vividly, uh, fishing up in the White Mountains near Greer, Arizona, about 9,000 feet up, uh, fishing along the stream, and uh, picking and eating uh, wild strawberries mm -hmm. growing along the stream. Yep. They taste delicious. They're not bad. Yeah, okay. Not bad. Oh, well. Anyway, anything else going on? It's Thursday. I mean, what more can we say? It yes. is, we're through, ha over halfway through the, the week, so celebration in hand there. Yeah, but I, again, I lose track of uh, even what day it is, what month it is. Yeah, it doesn't really make any difference. Yeah. So. One well, runs into the other. Pretty much. So we uh, might as well get started with the uh, news. News. We've got a look at World in California news headlines to begin with. And it's all brought to you by Lock Air Conditioning, your year-round comfort specialist for sales, service, or installation of a new air conditioner. Call the experts, Lock Air Conditioning. CBS News update. With an increase in coronavirus infections, it is case by case for states hoping to reopen. Some now imposing more restrictions like Nevada where face masks will be required. Governor Steve Sisolak. A mask helps reduce the spread of an infectious disease. Anyone who's denying that is just denying reality. In California, a reminder from Governor Gavin Newsom to be careful. You know, wash your hand is not just putting your damn hands, forget my language, under the faucet for two seconds and calling it a day. We've all seen that. Many have done that, yours included. But in this pandemic, come on. States were hoping to revive their economies by now. Mark Hamrick of Bankrate.com. We're now three months into the economic downturn that was ignited by COVID-19. and The nation's job market remains mired in heartbreaking and uncharted territory. Weekly jobless claims did fall just slightly. CBS News Update. I'm Cami McCormick. Lock Air Conditioning wants you to protect the things you care about. Protect your family with the air scrubber that utilizes Active Pure certified technology to protect against airborne and surface contaminants. Clean, deodorize, purify, and protect not only your family, but your home. The air scrubber installs easily to your heating and cooling system, and it's made in the USA. Call Lock Air Conditioning now for details. 760-353-4501. Lock Air Conditioning and protect the things you care about. Contractor's license number 696216. California headline news. Governor Gavin Newsom expressing concern over the increase in COVID-19 cases with over 7,100 new infections reported Wednesday. That's a new record high. He says younger people are responsible for much of the spread. We are seeing an increase in the total number of cases uh, with people uh, that are getting younger and younger. Testing has increased, but so is the positivity rate, now 5.5%. Officials checking on any possible damage after that 5.8 magnitude earthquake at Chucky, Central California, Wednesday. This is an area of California that historically has had plenty of earthquakes. Seismologist Lucy Jones, several smaller aftershocks reported. Jones saying there's a strong likelihood of at least one 5.0 or greater aftershock in the next week. The day the music died, 11 years ago today, pop star Michael Jackson died of an apparent a drug overdose at his home in L.A. The county coroner later ruling the death a homicide. His personal physician convicted of involuntary manslaughter for the fatal dose of medication. Jeff Scott, California News. 
World in California news headlines brought to you this morning by Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal. For sales, for service, you call the experts at Lock Air Conditioning. I saved big money with the Progressive Home and Auto Bundle, so I finally bought that new set of golf clubs. Watch out, Fairway. Here I come. This is not a real testimonial. Sure, customers can save big with Progressive, but your other expenses won't just disappear. Are those clubs going to help you when the hot water heater dies? Also, it sounds like your money is better spent on golf lessons. Time to go shoot the course record. No, but maybe time for a reality check. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. At JCPenney, we know you miss us, and we miss you. So, what if we said we had a store that's open all day, every day? We do. It's jcp.com or the JCPenney app. Need a swimsuit? We've got them. Something new and cute for summer? Look no further. Exclusive JCPenney brands plus your favorite national brands? Yes and yes. Check our site for the latest coupons. And when you spend $49 or more, standard shipping is free. JCPenney. Exclusions apply. See jcp.com for details. Page one of the local news is a service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers with two locations in the valley. Quick Lane in Brawley and El Centro, ready to serve. Taking a look at the latest in local news for a Thursday morning, another COVID-19 update is available. Here's more on the story. It was issued at 1110 Wednesday morning. Update issued by the County Health Department indicates the death toll has increased to 70 from the Tuesday report of 68. There have been 27,013 patients tested for COVID-19. Of those, 5,549 have tested positive. Of those, 4,564 have recovered. There are currently 915 active cases of COVID-19 in Imperial County. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. A fire near Thermal is sending smoke across the Coachella Valley. It is probably going to burn for several days, an official uh, said Wednesday. The fire was reported at about 10.30 a.m. on a 20-acre property near Van Buren Street and Avenue 58. The fire had uh, grown to 12 acres with 50% containment by 7.45 p.m. It's not spreading uh, everywhere else, uh, Cal Fire Captain Fernando Herrera uh, said. It's a significant area where we just can't go in there and dump water. Those types of piles need to be uh, consumed, meaning they need to burn for a couple of days. No homes are threatened, and there have been no injuries. About 20 IID uh, customers lost electricity, and a Sunline Transit Agency bus is being used as a cooking center for the firefighters, according to Cal Fire. KXO News Time coming up to 742. To show their gratitude to frontline or essential workers, Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers in Brawley and El Centro have something very special. For all Ford Pass Rewards members who are considered frontline or essential workers, they give you the Works Service Package through June 30th. Now, the offer applies to current or new Ford Pass Rewards members who are frontline or essential workers during the COVID-19 pandemic. Not a Ford Pass Rewards member? See your Quick Lane Service Advisor for details. In other local news, a fundraiser coming up for Caleb Strong. Here's more on that story. It is a 5K bike walk run. It'll be held July 11th to benefit Caleb Castillo and raise awareness. Caleb was hit by a vehicle while riding his bike on 4th Street in El Centro. He's been hospitalized for over a month. Sign-ups in July 2nd. Participation is $15 for one person, $20 for two. Organizers also want to raise awareness for drivers to drive cautious and obey all traffic laws. More information is available on the Facebook event page, Caleb Strong Bike Slash Walk Slash Run. The event starts at uh, July 11th at uh, 11th and Main Street in El Centro. It'll begin at 7 p.m. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. California Highway Patrol is investigating a Wednesday night accident. At about 6.45 p.m., a vehicle went out of control, ran off the road, and ended up submerged in a canal at Worthington and James Roads. All occupants of the vehicle were able to escape, and there were apparently 
no injuries. That concludes this edition of Local News. Stay with us for page two coming up. Page one of the Local News, a service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers in Brawley and El Centro. Quick Lane on Imperial Avenue next to Food for Less in El Centro in the Brawley Auto Center, Highway 86 and Julia Drive. Remember, Quick Lane services all makes and all models and you never need an appointment. As our country continues to work through this crisis, China Power's Chinese food remains open to serve our customers. Simply call 760-353-1510 for takeout service. You and your family can enjoy the same great food you're accustomed to for lunch or dinner in the comfort of your home or office. If you need a menu, go to ChinaPalaceRestaurants.com. Delivery to your home or office is also available. So order your favorite Chinese food, lunch or dinner dishes like salt and pepper fish or chicken, Mongolian beef or chicken, seafood dishes, and more. For home or office takeout, call now, 760-353-1510. 353-1510, that's 353-1510. Yes, China Palace Chinese food is now open for takeout service for as long as they're allowed to do so. Takeout service now at China Palace Chinese food. And it's page two of the local news with an in-depth look at weather brought to you by David H. West Insurance Services. See David or Jose for life insurance, health insurance, or retirement planning. Band Together IV. It is a virtual concert. The El Centro Regional Medical Center has created a live stream virtual concert to bring the community together through music and raise funds to help support El Centro Regional Medical Center and the community during the COVID-19 pandemic. The Band Together IV Virtual Concert event will feature outstanding local artists of all ages and genres who support the mission to provide for our health care heroes and the patients they serve. You don't want to miss the exciting event with special appearances by celebrity guests. It's uh, Saturday, 5 p.m. If you'd like more information or if you'd like to become a sponsor, go to bandtogetheriv.org. Well, Thursday morning, uh, George Gale will uh, be visiting with uh, Andrew Ruiz, uh, the president of the El Centro Regional Medical Center Foundation, they will be talking about the uh, upcoming band together, uh, live stream uh, streaming COVID-19 relief virtual uh, benefit concert. Again, that'll uh, that part. George is going to talk to uh, Ruiz uh, on Thursday. The event is actually on Saturday at 5 p.m. You can listen in to get all the details. Yeah, listen to George and Andrew at 10:30 uh, this morning. 10:30 this morning. So be here. In other local news, the City of Imperial Department of Community Services has introduced their virtual program guide for the summer 2020. Due to current state guidelines surrounding COVID-19, the in-person programs and uh, facilities to be temporarily closed with the social distancing guidelines and facility closures, we realize it may be difficult for our residents to access recreation opportunities within the community. With this in mind, we are happy to announce our curbside to go kits. Curbside to go kits are designed to allow children to receive uh, weekly themed interactive activities that can be completed right from the comfort of their own home. All to go kits uh, will come with instructions and most of the materials needed to complete uh, each activity. In addition, we will also host those uh, weekly programs live on Zoom. We will walk uh, through each daily activity and uh, complete it together, step by step. We encourage all participants to join and join the fun by interacting with other participants live or by commenting and asking questions to engage and connect. Our uh, full virtual program guide is available on the Imperial Cities website. That's cityofimperial.org forward slash summer 2020. In other local news, uh, memorial service for El Centro Police Officer Efren Coronel has been uh, scheduled. 
According to the El Centro Police Department, memorial services will be held uh, this Friday at 10 a.m. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, <clears throat> the service uh, will be closed but will be available live on the City of El Centro Facebook page. Officer Efren Coronel uh, died uh, on June 3rd of this year due to complications from the COVID-19 virus. The longtime El Centro Police Department uh, officer contracted the disease in performance of his duties. The family has asked that in lieu of flowers, donations may be made to the El Centro Police Athletic League or running for heroes. The Coronel uh, family asked that the El Centro Police Department share the following statement. We feel grateful and humbled for all the support that we have been uh, receiving from extended family, friends, and our community. We are in awe of your kindness and friendship. The outpouring of love you have given uh, me and my kids have given us the strength and courage to face a very difficult time. We'll be back with a look at the weather. David H. West Insurance has been helping residents in Imperial Valley for many years with their insurance needs. David, Jose, and staff are trained professionals who can help you make the right decision with your insurance coverage from health, Medicare, and most importantly, a life insurance plan. How much life insurance do you need and what's your monthly cost? We'll call David H. West Insurance today to make an appointment and get a free quote on a life insurance plan that's right for you and your family at 760-352-3411. That's 352-3411. Here's Carol Buckley with the weather update. The National Weather Service says the hot and dry conditions under strong high pressure aloft will last for another couple of days before a gradual cooling trend begins this weekend. The Imperial and Yuma Valley high temperatures expected to be near 110 degrees through tomorrow. Starting on Sunday, a strong low-pressure system approaching the region from the northwest will bring noticeably cooler temperatures, breezy to windy conditions, and a slight increase in moisture levels. For early next week, below normal temperatures are expected, while relatively dry conditions are likely to prevail under mostly clear skies. 110 the high yesterday, 77 are low, mostly sunny and hot today with a high near 110, east-southeast wind 5 to 10 miles an hour. Partly cloudy tonight with a low around 78, west-southwest wind 5 to 15 miles an hour, gusting up to 20 miles an hour. Friday will be sunny with a high near 109, light south wind becoming southwest 5 to 10 miles an hour in the afternoon. Saturday sunny with a high near 108, southwest wind 5 to 10 miles an hour. It'll be sunny on Sunday with a high near 105, light and variable wind to begin, then turning out of the west 15 to 20 miles an hour in the afternoon with gusts as high as 30 miles per hour. And right now, downtown, 82 degrees, 30% relative humidity. Wind out of the southeast at 3 to 10 miles an hour. Page 2 of the local news and the weather brought to you by David H. West Insurance Services. See David or Jose for health insurance plans and Medicare supplemental coverage. David H. West Insurance Services. As we go through this crisis, health issues unrelated to the pandemic have not stopped. People are suffering heart attacks and strokes. Car and bike accidents still happen. Cancer patients need transfusions. Organ transplants must take place. People of all ages are in life-threatening situations. The future holds many uncertainties, but one thing is certain. Blood is needed every day. Please donate to Lifestream Blood Bank. Call 800-TRY-GIVING or visit lstream.org. It's sports time. Baseball set to uh, get underway. Well, players uh, will report to training camps as early as July 1st. Uh, before arrival, they will uh, be tested for COVID-19, then begin workouts if they test negative. And uh, a 60-game regular season schedule, subject to review by the Players Association, will follow. Uh, there are some rule changes during extra inning games in the regular season. Each half inning will begin with a runner on second base. The batter who made the final out in the previous inning, or a pinch runner for that batter, would be that runner. And there'll be a 10-day injured list for both pitchers and hitters. 
Though the 60-day IL will be reduced to a 45-day IL. <sighs> and, and uh, well, all sorts of strange things happening. Meanwhile, NFL owners are going to be meeting today. Among the topics for discussion, training camp, 2020 season planning, inspire change, social justice programs, and workplace diversity. And, uh, well, just to pass it along, whatever NFL season there is, FM 107.5 will be bringing you o uh, Oakland, Las Vegas Raider games this year. Uh, the preseason opening Dallas Cowboy Pittsburgh Steelers game at the Pro Football Hall of Fame in Canton, Ohio, August 6th, has been canceled. And the Hall of Fame's August 8th enshrinement ceremony is being postponed because of the coronavirus pandemic, according to the league. And uh, the uh, PGA Tour says they're going to be stricter about coronavirus testing and monitoring, but we're going to chase the bucks and we're still going to play. Uh, that's it for Sports Time. Stick around. We've got a look at financial news just ahead. There's never been a better time to purchase a pre-owned vehicle from Rogers & Rogers Toyota with a huge selection of sedans, SUVs, trucks, and vans. All prices sell during our pre-owned inventory summer sales event. Shop us online at RogersAndRogersToyota.com today. It's financial news. Had a brief look at the weather brought to you this morning by Imperial Valley's roto Rooter. When drains don't work, they do. Well, the Dow down uh, slightly right now. Mixed action on Wall Street. The Dow Jones Industrial off about 20 points at 25,425. The S&P 500 down two at 3,048. And uh, the NASDAQ composite off uh, 1.29 at 9,908. Gold, meanwhile, down $2.80 an ounce. Oil up $0.39 cents a barrel, which means expect to pay a quarter more at the pump. Well, after the worst down day for U.S. stocks yesterday in about two weeks, investors were digesting, digesting a plethora of economic data this morning. In the week ended June 20th, Americans filed 1.48 million new jobless claims, fewer than in the previous week, but more than the 1.38 million forecast in a Market Watch survey. In the third and final reading of first quarter U.S. gross domestic product, the official scorecard of the health of the U.S. economy, the government confirmed that the economy contracted at an annualized pace of 5%, and a report on orders for long-lasting or durable goods showed they rose 15.8% in May. Financial firms may be in focus during the session ahead of what's expected to be a closely followed report on the health of the banking sector conducted by the Federal Reserve. Yesterday, Apple said it would shut down seven stores in the Houston area following a sharp rise in uh, coronavirus cases. And Walt Disney postponed reopening the California theme parks, including Disneyland, which had been scheduled to reopen, at least start reopening, on July 17th. New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut announced 14-day quarantines on Wednesday on visitors from states with high COVID-19 infection rates. The travel advisory, which impacts residents of nine states, underscores concerns about the pace of business activity resuming after lockdowns imposed to contain the spread of the pandemic. Roto-Rooter, your plumbing and drain cleaning specialists. Roto-Rooter offers full services from hydro jetting to camera inspection, water heaters, faucets, garbage disposals, anything that's clogged up. They'll take care of the problem right. Roto-Rooter is a locally owned family business with 53 years in the Imperial Valley. Call the experts at 760-352-6789. That's 352-6789 or 344-2533 in the North End. Roto-Rooter, when drains don't work, we do.
It will be mostly sunny today with a high near 110 east southeast wind 5 to 10 miles an hour. Partly cloudy tonight with a low about 78. West southwest wind 5 to 15 miles an hour gusting up to 20 miles an hour. Friday sunny with a high near 109. Light south wind becoming southwest 5 to 10 miles an hour in the afternoon. We have 84 degrees downtown El Centro, 32% relative humidity, wind out of the southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Financial news and the weather brought to you this morning by Roto-Rooter in El Centro and Brawley. You know, when drains don't work, they do. Stick around. CBS News on the hour, less than a minute away. Local news, when and where it happens on AM 1230 KXO. And uh, we've got a great website, kxoradio.com. Uh, this morning's news is available on our YouTube channel and our Facebook page. Introducing Rogers and Rogers Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram 3-day or 500 miles money back guarantee. Feel confident with your purchase or bring it back 100% risk free. No worries, no, no hassle, no mistakes. Shop us online at rogerschryslerjeepdodge.com. Restrictions apply. See dealer for details. KXO El Centro, California. CBS News next brought to you by the Imperial Valley Food Bank. Fighting hunger in Imperial County since 1991. This is CBS News on the Hour, presented by Capital One Bank. I'm Deborah Rodriguez. CBS News has learned a New York City police officer has just been arrested for putting a black man in a chokehold over the weekend. Yo, stop choking him, bro! The incident involving officer David Afanador was caught on cell phone video. The New York City Council made chokeholds a criminal offense for police just days ago. Lawmakers on Capitol Hill are expected to vote on a Democratic version of a police reform bill today. Congressional Black Caucus Chair Karen Bass. It is the cell phone camera that has exposed the continuation of violence directed at African Americans by the police and exposed the reality that the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness is not guaranteed to all African Americans at all times. The bill is opposed by Republicans who presented their own version. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi told CBS News it's so weak it makes the party complicit in murder. Coronavirus infections continue a worrisome new trend. The U.S. is reporting the largest single-day increase in cases since the outbreak began, with more than 38,000. This man blames the rush to reopen. It just makes me wonder, why do we send our kids to school to study things like science, then to ignore it later when it could save our lives? Texas Governor Greg Abbott has just issued an executive order suspending elective surgeries in four counties to free up more hospital space for COVID patients. Coronavirus infections, yeah, they continue that worrisome trend as a new study shows a breakthrough drug to treat COVID-19 reduces deaths in critically ill patients, but may be dangerous to people with milder forms of the virus. CBS News medical contributor, Dr. David Agus. Dexamethasone is a steroid. It suppresses the immune system. So it seems to benefit when there's a cytokine storm. That is, when the immune response to the virus is overwhelming the body and causing leakiness in the lung. When used early, it can actually suppress the immune system. Lots of people are still losing jobs. CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger. Just under one and a half million Americans filed for new unemployment benefits last week. That's a drop of 60,000 from the prior week, though above analyst expectations. The total number who signed up for benefits is 19.5 million, down from almost 25 million in early May. We found out this morning Macy's is cutting 3,900 corporate jobs, about 3% of its total workforce. One time favorite with the tennis and under set is filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. The House of Pizza Loving Mouse hopes a federal judge will allow it to reorganize and continue operating. The Dow is down 64. This is CBS News. Why settle for average? With Capital One, you can open a new savings account with a rate five times the national average. Welcome to Banking Reimagined. What's in your wallet? Capital One NA, member FDIC. At Walgreens, we know summer may look a little different this year. That's why we've made it easier to enjoy the moments you do make with new ways to shop. With shop online and pick up in our drive-thru, or quick same-day delivery on select items with Postmates, you can keep summer going. This week, find great deals, like buy two skincare items from your favorite brands, like Aveeno and Pons. Get a third item free. Walgreens. Offer valid with card while supplies last. Restrictions and exclusions apply. See walgreens.com for details.
Capital One knows life doesn't alert you about your credit card. Hey, Couch Surfers, we've got nonstop tunes to keep you rocking while you work. Oh, and Colleen, yes, you Colleen with a K. Your free trial of Movie Plus ends tomorrow, and your card may be charged. Do you want to continue or cancel? So meet Eno, the Capital One assistant. Eno looks out for surprise charges, like when free trials expire, and helps if you need to fix them. Eno, another way Capital One is watching out for your money when you're not. Capital One, what's in your wallet? Limitations apply. Young faces in this country are more diverse than ever. Correspondent Bill Rakoff explains. For the first time, the census numbers show that non-whites and Hispanics were a majority of people under age 16 in 2019. Experts say that's an expected demographic shift that will continue to grow over the coming decades. At the same time, the number of non-Hispanic whites in the U.S. has gotten smaller in the past decade as deaths surpassed births. Illegal fireworks have been keeping New Yorkers up at night during the pandemic. For the first time... Police have just released footage of possible suspects whose homemade display injured a three-year-old boy when a projectile flew through the open window of his sixth-floor apartment. Adiel Rosario's big sister was with him. It, like, almost destroyed everything in our um, room. There was also fire and my favorite teddy bear. Adiel treated for burns to his left arm and stomach. Deborah Rodriguez, CBS News. No child in Imperial County should go hungry. This is Jean Oswald for the Imperial Valley Food Bank. Living in a food insecure home makes it difficult for children to perform efficiently in school and to face the challenges of being a child. I urge you to help these kids. Donate to the food bank's backpack program. Recipients are children who rely on school meals and risk going hungry on weekends when they're away from school. The Ivy Food Bank backpack program. Donate online at ivyfoodbank.org. CBS News, a presentation of the Imperial Valley Food Bank, fighting hunger in Imperial County since 1991. Become a hunger warrior. Contact the Imperial Valley Food Bank. And now, more of the best oldies on the radio. I have no words for it. I'm kind of shocked right now, actually. With Carol Buckley. Not that I like it, but I do. AM 1230 KXO. 1230 KXO. Let's band together. The El Centro Regional Medical Center Foundation has created a live stream virtual concert. Band Together for COVID-19 Relief will bring our community together through music and will feature outstanding local artists of all ages and genre who support the foundation's mission to provide for our local healthcare heroes and the patients they serve. You can support this effort through sponsorships and by tuning in on Saturday, June 27th at 5 p.m. Band together for COVID-19 relief will feature Jerry Damara, 36 Bridges, Anthony Sobolewski, Misery Whistle, Ruben Hernandez, and many others, including celebrity guest appearances. Band together for COVID-19 relief, bringing our community together and raising funds to help support El Centro Regional Medical Center's fight against COVID-19 pandemic. There's more information available at bandtogetheriv.org. Band together for COVID-19 19 relief. 